One of the busiest shopping days of the year is here. Black Friday is normally associated with doorbuster deals and long lines of customers waiting hours to get their hands on coveted merchandise at a steep discount. But in the midst of a pandemic, when large crowds are strongly discouraged, if not forbidden, will people show up? KZI 9 News reporter Jacob Roberts joins us live from outside Best Buy in Springfield. Jacob, how's it looking out there today? Well, Chris, there has been a steady stream of people coming in and out this morning, but definitely different. When we got here before they opened around 5 o'clock this morning, there was a line of a few dozen people. You can see the barricades that they've put up here, but that is much smaller than in years past. And talking to people in line, there was definitely some excitement, but a little bit of disappointment as well as they realized some of the big ticket items they were hoping to get are not actually in stock. Unfortunately, yes, talking about the new PlayStation and Xbox, that is not not here at this Springfield Best Buy at least. So a little disappointment for some of those folks in line. But there are also a lot of sales this year that are just happening online. Many retail retailers started this year online first. This is what stores used to look like, but these crowds are not allowed this year. Despite a reduction on shopping hours, the National Retail Foundation says consumers are expected to spend over $730 billion this holiday season. That's up nearly 4% from last year. Retailers started offering those Black Friday deals earlier in stores and again even earlier online. We also talked to some folks. With COVID going on, it's really um, quiet and really limited. So I'm glad that I got here at least early enough to be one of the first like 20 people in line. I know it was a bit foolish to come this year because of COVID and everything, but I just wanted to do it for the experience. And the National Retail Foundation also found that 96% of stores are expecting an increase in their online sales during this holiday season. We're going to continue to keep an eye on the conditions out here and the shoppers coming in and out. And coming up in the next half hour, we'll tell you what some other big retailers are doing for Black Friday and some of the changes they have had to make because of the pandemic. Live in Springfield, Jacob Roberts, KEZI 9 News.